Hi, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. And today I'm going to make strawberry jam. And I'm also going to can some uh, of the strawberry jam in my 8 ounce jelly jars for future uses. So I went to an organic hydroponic strawberry farm and I picked my own strawberries. So I picked out the biggest ones. Taking a knife and cutting the, the crown of the strawberry off. Most people mash their strawberries with a potato masher, but I'm going to be putting my strawberries in my blender here because I don't like the large chunks in my strawberry jam. So it's a preference. I mean, it's up to you if you want them mashed or if you'd prefer them in a uh, blender. So I need five cups of prepared strawberries and seven cups of white sugar. So I have my seven cups of white sugar off to the side here. I'll cut up my strawberries a little bit just to give it a little help. And then I'll measure out the five cups of prepared strawberries. As I'm preparing my strawberries, behind me on my stove, I have a pot with boiling water that I'm going to place the lids in. So this way here, they're sterilized. In my jelly jars, I sterilize them by putting them in my dishwasher. And I'll be using one box of the pectin with the strawberries. So I'm going to puree some more because I'm not up to the five cups yet. So now I'll take my strawberries out of my blender and I, like I said, I need five cups. So he has four. and five. I'll put my stove on medium high. And I'll be adding one box of the pectin. I'll be placing the one box of the pectin in my prepared strawberries. I'll mix that in. I'm also going to add in a half a teaspoon of butter to help reduce the foam because when it starts foaming you just want to take your spoon and just skim off a little bit. You'll bring your strawberries to a full rolling boil. And what I mean by a full rolling boil is that you'll see that it's boiling as you're still stirring it. It still constantly boils. So you want to get this nice and hot. That's why I said make sure that you stir it constantly. You can see it coming to a boil so now I want the rolling boil. Once your sugar is in there and it's mixed well, wait for it to come to another rolling boil and boil for exactly one minute, then remove from the heat. I have some boiling water on the back burner and I'll be taking it out of that pot and putting it into this pot and I'm going to place this pot on the stove. This way here the lids are sanitized when I'm ready to use them. My strawberries have come to a rolling boil. 
So boil now for approximately one minute. And then, like I said, I'll remove it from the heat. So I have my lid sanitizing in the boiling water. And I also have my jars that I had sanitized. And I'll be placing this. Make sure that your uh, jars are hot because you'll be placing this hot jam inside those jars. And you don't want the jars to crack. Because I placed the half a teaspoon of butter in here while I was mixing it, I had hardly any foam whatsoever, so there was really nothing for me to skim. So I have hot water in my jars, which I'm going to drain out. I have my funnel, and I want to fill my 8 ounce jelly jars about a quarter of an inch from the top. I have this measuring tool and it goes by a quarter of an inch to half inch and it lets you measure of how much jelly is in there. So I need just a tad bit more. And that's a quarter of an inch from the top. I'm going to wipe around the lid here. It's kind of messy when you are making strawberry jam. I also have this magnet that I'm going to be placing so I can take the lids out of this hot water. So I put the lid on top and I also have my ring that I made sure it's tight on. Now that I filled seven jars, which are eight ounces each, I'm going to place them in my boiling water over here so that the lid will pop and I'll know it's sealed correctly. Make sure that your water is about an inch over the top of the jars. Once I place the jars in my water here, wait till it comes to a boil and boil it for about 10 minutes. Now that my jars have been boiling in the water for 10 minutes, I'm going to take off my lid. And I'll place the jars on a wire rack and let them cool and don't move them for like 24 hours. Once it's been cool for about 24 hours, take your thumb and press down the center of the lid and if it flexes, that means that the seal didn't take correctly and that you'll have to refrigerate your jars. So that's about it for um, what I'm doing here on the canning of my strawberry jam. And it's very tasteful and I can't wait to try it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next video.